Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to do three days of hair with only one shampoo. This look is inspired by Glamour's um, February 2013 magazine, which I subscribe to. And if you flip this edition over, it's got a special hair edition on the other side. And let me show you this article. Um, this was a really good idea. And it's called Three Days of Sexy Hair. And the first day you shower and with wet hair, braid your hair. And you keep it in all you keep the braid in all day and you sleep in it that night. And then the next day you get up and you fluff out your braid and it should be pretty waves. And then uh, you do that for an entire day. And then on the third day you wear a top knot because by then your hair isn't as fresh anymore, but it gives you three days without having to shampoo. Um, basically three days of, without having to style your hair because it's pretty simple to do these looks. So um, today's day one, I'm going to start by showing you how to do a really cute French braid. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention. Um, you're going to want to put this curl scrunching gel or like a sea salt spray, some kind of product in your hair while it's still damp when you um, finish washing it and conditioning it. That's going to hold the product. Okay, so first we're going to do a braid to this side. So... I'm going to show you guys how to do a really cool braid that's different than what you might have seen. This was one of the first braids that I learned how to do, and um, it's easy to me. And when I picked up this braid, I was able to do a regular French braid, but I had to do this version of the braid first. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So what you do is you grab a section of your hair that's towards the front like this. And then put your hands behind you like that and put it in three sections. Now, for a normal French braid, what you do is you have three sections and you crisscross one over the middle like that. And then this one, which now this is the middle, over the middle like, ah, like that. But this braid is different. You don't cross over, you cross under. And I don't even know what that braid is called. But it doesn't matter what it's called. It looks really pretty. Okay, so you start with your three sections. And you crisscross one section underneath the middle. The next section, grab it. Put it underneath the middle. Now, you, now you've gotten started. And I do it one more time. Crisscross underneath the middle. Crisscross underneath the middle. It starts making a braid that looks like it's sitting on top of your hair. Okay, then you're going to want to grab some hair over on the side and add it to the side section. I hope you guys can see this okay. Crisscross it underneath the middle. And then grab hair on this side and add it to the side that you have. And then put it uh, underneath the middle. And every time you do it, pull it down so that it gets tight. Okay. I've got this one funny hair that's sticking up. So you're going to grab your hair and just do it like that. Okay, now that you've got enough braided to where it's pulled away from your face, let's see. I'm going to take my hair tie and tie it and stop. Okay, so we've got our side crisscross underneath, other side crisscross underneath.
Okay, now that I've got enough of that side braided, I'm going to braid it out a little bit. Um, take the two pieces that you made, the two braids, you guys see that? And I'm going to take out that twisty tie that I put in. Now this becomes the pieces of your braid that's going to go straight back. So you can go ahead and blend the hair together and start by breaking. What I'm doing is I'm putting all the hair together like in one ponytail, okay? And then start by breaking this hair into three sections. Okay, and do how you did the other ones where you break it up into three sections and you get two crisscrossed underneath with one in the middle. I've actually never done this before, so hopefully this turns out looking cool. I'm going to turn around so that you guys can start to see what it looks like from the back as I braid it. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. I've got my three sections and the piece in the middle, so I'm going to start... On this side, grab some hair, put it into the section on the side, and then flip that underneath to the middle. And then I'm going to grab hair on this side, put it into the hair that's on the side, flip it underneath, now it's in the middle. And then I'm going to go back, grab hair on that side, put it into the hair that was on that side, flip it underneath, now it's in the middle. And then just keep doing that. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this looks good and it doesn't look crazy. Okay. And I'm going to secure the end of my braid. I'm going to use my little mirror and turn around and look at the back to make sure it's okay back there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it turned out pretty good looking. It's kind of interesting looking. Okay. So at this point, I'm checking the back to see that I don't have any bald spots, which I do right there. So whenever that happens, I get my brush and I brush, just brush the hair right there gently. That way um, you don't have any separation and bald spots. I've got this one piece of hair that's sticking up right there. I don't know if you guys, of course you can probably see it. So if that happens, that looks like a piece of maybe bangs that I have growing out. So if that happens, just get yourself a, um, a little bobby pin and um, you can pin that hair back. Let's see. Anyway, so this is going to be day one and I'll check back with you guys on day two and show you what the waves look like and then on day three how to do a top knot. So stay tuned. Thanks. Okay friends, well we're on to day two. And remember, day two is the mermaid waves. So, okay, the instructions say, in the morning, carefully undo yesterday's braid. Do not run your hands through your hair. Let it fall naturally. Spray it. And then they recommend using a hairspray. I have BB thickening hairspray, so that's what I'm gonna be using. And they said that the spray observe, um, excuse me, the spray also absorbs some of the oil that should be in your hair at this point. And it says, if your hair is still in sections, flip it over your head once so it falls more fully. I'm supposed to carefully undo the braid without running my fingers through the curls.
Okay. All right, let's see. So here we go. We've got some nice, pretty curls slash waves. Yeah, it does look really pretty. Nice, and I didn't do anything because I'm sleeping it. <laughs> okay, and what does it say again? Do not run your hands through your hair. Let it fall naturally. Spray it. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do next. I guess we'll just let it part right here because that seems to be where it wants to go, so whatever. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to spray it, so. It doesn't really specify. Okay, uh, I'm gonna flip my head over and spray it, but it also says flip your hair over your head once so that it falls more naturally, so let me do that. I'm not really combing it, I'm just kind of breaking up the curls without running my fingers through my hair, which apparently you're not supposed to do. Okay, well, looking cool. Like I spent all this time curling my hair, which I didn't. This will be our little secret. I'm gonna turn around and look at the back so I can see what it looks like back there. Oh wow, that's really nice. Super, super, super cute. Wow. I am really pleased with this. My hair is thin hair and it gets oily um, usually in today too. So I'm going to expect that by the end of today, my curls will probably have fallen a little bit, although I think the hairspray will help. That was a good idea. Um, and that my roots are going to start getting oily. And by tomorrow, it will definitely be time to put it in the top knot. So anyway, and FYI, not shampooing your hair does not mean not washing your body. <laughs> Just in case anybody wondered. So um, I did take my braid and clip it on the top of my head today when I was in the shower. Um, showering so I just made sure to not get my hair wet or wash it so anyway so we made it to day three and day three is the top knot so we're gonna get started with that now now um okay by day three my roots are oily what I had as cute um curls is not really there anymore so um, what the instructions say to do for this day is to get some dry shampoo and I am using Tresemme Fresh Start Shampoo and it's formulated for oily hair which is what I have. So the instructions for dry shampoo say to shake it really well and um, to spray it at your roots and kind of shake it as you go. Now, the instructions also say to massage it into your hair. That way the white powder that starts to form, you can't see very well, it kind of blends into your hair. Grab the top of your hair and back comb it a little bit just to give it some body. Not much, just, you know, just a little. Okay. Then you can use bobby pins if your hair is short or a ponytail holder if your hair is long. And what you want to do for day three is just kind of fluff your hair. Danielle, you ready? And then grab it on the sides, pull it straight up on top of your head. Grab it from behind, grab any little pieces that are popping out here and there, okay, kind of make a donut. See how I'm doing it? You just kind of grab it and it doesn't have to be perfect, it's not supposed to be, that's what makes this look so cute. You can have little hairs sticking out, okay. 
when you've got a cute little donut shape, take your hair bow and just kind of twist it on top a few times without messing up the overall donut shape. And then kind of play with the donut shape and get it looking cute. And voila, you have a really cute updo for day three. So my overall impression of this series is that it made it really easy to get ready in the morning because um, the first day took the longest just to do the braid. But day two, letting the braid out, and day three, putting it in a top knot was super easy and fast. And my hair isn't that greasy because um, the braid was wet for so long that it lasted for a while. So anyway, that was really good. So uh, I hope this inspires you for your next hair look when you don't feel like washing your hair every day and you're looking for something different to try. Maybe on vacation when you don't have time to be doing your hair with um, you know, heat products all the time. This might be a good look for those days. Anyway, so take care and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.